Hello from Collinsville, Alabama. My name is Wade Belter, and I would like to talk to you about a little harlequinized chestnut hollenlop doe. Her dam is Mountain Brook Zora, a Vienna Carrier chestnut hollenlop doe, and her father is Mountain Brook Sweet Pea. A possible Vienna Carrier black Japanese hollenlop buck. We're looking at a possible Vienna Carrier chestnut hollenlop doe that is in my hand. She has a really nice hindquarter um, development with the feet being straight and a good width apart. This is good for does when you look at the potential of having a brood doe, something that's going to reproduce. Looking at the color of this little doe, I like how black really comes through. And it this is chestnut, and it is a gouty. So I know there's going to be white lacing on the ears and white inside the ears, and I can see it there. Cream is a color that's present on chestnuts. I usually see cream inside of the nose. Um, the belly tends to be white, which is a sign of a gouty. The sire is Japanese, Harley. So look, you can see dark markings coming down through the head. There is a pattern of the Japanese pattern in the coat of this kit that you can see the Japanese pattern can be visible when you turn the rabbit over on its back and examine the belly to see if you have cross sections of color running through the belly. Sometimes it's easier to see it here. Notice the cream in the nose different from the white of the belly. The ears do not lie flat. This indicates there is a tight crown. If there was a full crown or wider space between the ears, the ears would lie down. When breeding rabbits, you can put a nice crown on a rabbit in just one breeding all it takes is a really good buck but you can see there how tight her crown is um even in her most relaxed state she um keeps one up with our breeding objective in mind this rabbit is the closest that comes to meeting the objective for a gaudi Japanese out of the entire litter. Thank you so much for watching.